Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to my channel, The Muslim Reactions. So um, today we're reacting to some set of videos, very interesting videos, amazing videos from TikTok. And um, if you're yet to subscribe to this channel, please, you can do that right away. And also hit the notification bell. So whenever I make a video, you'll be amongst the first to see the video. So without any further ado, let's get into it. Jesus is the one person in the universe who has no defects. He has no failures. If you walk away from the one person who has no failures because his representatives have failures, you're walking away from the one hope of your life. You know, we can't say Jesus has no defect. Jesus has no failures. Because when we look at on what basis are we judging this? Is it based on the three years... Um, of what we know of Jesus or on his you know entire life Jesus before his ministry spent 30 years of his life you see if you should ask this man that how much of Jesus's life or how much of Jesus do you know the answer would be literally nothing he knows nothing and the best he knows about Jesus is just the three years of Jesus's ministry these are what we have these are the records we have these are the accounts we have but the entire life of Jesus we know nothing about it. 30 years of Jesus' life, we know nothing about it. So how can you judge based on just three years and just ignore 30 years of his life? I would advise you to check the infancy gospel of Thomas and you would see that what you read there is not even close to what this man is claiming. But then, before we go to the next video, I would like to point out something still regarding failure. Um, Jesus made a prophecy that failed woefully. In the Gospel of Matthew, Jesus said, Some of you will not taste death until you see the Son of Man coming in his kingdom. This is 2,000 years later and nothing had happened. In fact, Paul fell for this. And Paul told his um, um, followers that do not get married because to him it's like, you know, you're just wasting your time when rapture is already here. Oh, this is one failure, one major failure. So, but then I don't believe this. So, let's quickly get to the next video. Matthew 21 11, this is Jesus, the prophet of Nazareth. John 4 19, sir, the woman said, You must be a prophet. Luke 24 19, what things he asked about Jesus of Nazareth? He replied, He was a prophet. This brother, mashallah, may Allah bless him. He didn't even give this um, Christian guy a chance to talk because these verses are abandoned in, 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 in the Bible. There are just too many in the Bible. You know, how can you say why Jesus is God and not a prophet? When your Bible literally says Jesus is a prophet, the people saw him and they identify him as a prophet. You know, this is now becoming, you know, <laughs> people following their desires. Please try to read your Bible, okay? It, it's there in your Bible. Jesus is a prophet and not God. He never claimed to be God. But then people saw him as a prophet and they, they identify him as a prophet. And he never denied that. And in fact, when we check, um, you know, when God said, uh, you know, to the children of Israel that he is going to raise a prophet from their brethren, people claim that this is talking about Jesus. You know, then how can this guy say Jesus is not a prophet? It doesn't even make sense. So let's get to the next video. Jesus God, Muslim versus Christian. Let's start with number two, which is Ali Dawa, who is a Muslim. If something is dependent on something else, it cannot be a creator. If Jesus walked the earth as a human being, ate, slept and went to the toilet, it cannot be God, because they are dependent. Number one is Nabi Qadesh, who was a Muslim but converted into Christianity. Let me clarify something. This guy, to start with, isn't a Muslim. He is an Ahmadi not a muslim like you claiming that a christian is a jew because he believe in the old testament it doesn't really make sense so this guy they have their own book okay they believing in muhammad doesn't mean that they are muslims we believe that there's no prophet after muhammad but they either believe that there is a prophet after muhammad so this makes them or uh, throws them away from the fold of islam so he's not a muslim uh, let's continue. Jesus very clearly claims to be God in Mark chapter 14 verse 62 when you understand his context. Here Jesus claims to be the Son of Man from Daniel. He claims to be the I Am from Exodus. Do you agree more with the Muslim or the Christian? 
so so literally i'm not going to say anything okay so we'll just head directly to the comment section you know i got this video from tiktok so we're going to head directly to the comment section and you'd see you know what people the reactions of the people let the people be the judge okay so let's get to the comment section You see this guy say, I'm not a Muslim, but I agree with the Muslim guy. Jesus was a messenger sent by God. Jesus was a messenger. Of course, I support the Muslim, of course. Ali Dawa is correct, alhamdulillah. I agree with, the, I, I agree with Ali Dawa. Ali Dawa makes more sense because it's the truth. Ali Dawa is the correct. I agree with Ali Dawa. Ali Dawa is correct. I'm Christian, but what Ali Dawa said made more sense. <laughs> uh, I agree with Ali Dawa um allah the great he is the one alhamdulillah i agree with ali dawa i'm a christian another i'm a christian but the muslim the muslim one okay <laughs> uh muslim i'm really i'm really proud okay i agree with ali dawa of course because i'm muslim i always support the muslim i'm muslim mm. i'm hindu but I, com I convert to muslim welcome brother i'm a proud muslim and i support the muslim muslim because i'm muslim I'm not Muslim, but I agree with Muslim. I'm not Muslim. You see, this this is, is something that is common sense. Okay, I agree more with Muslim, but but everyone has their own belief. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, Ali Dawa has a point though. Of course, of course. Uh, so Christian, Allah is the one. All of okay. Uh, we have I believe Muslim, Muslim of course, Muslim from Somalia, the Muslim. The first reason is so convincing. The first reason is so convincing. Of course, you know, if you're a God, you can't be dependent on something else. Ali Dawel said, Muslim, yeah. I'm a Buddhist. I believe I support Muslim. You know, it's something that is just common sense. Common sense. The Muslim, alhamdulillah, no hate for Christianity, of course. Uh, Muslim, he's speaking facts. Alhamdulillah. Uh, Jesus was a messenger sent by God. Ali is correct. I'm team with Muslim, 100%. Uh, Muslim because I'm Muslim, yeah. Muslim brother from Nigeria, okay. Ali, correct. Christian, Muslim, no hate. I love Christians, of course. Uh, no hate. Christian, open your mind and think properly and take seriously because we are not, we are no longer in this world. Find the right way. I love Muslims. Yeah. Allah is one. I agree with Ali Dawa, of course. Uh, you know, this thing is just common sense. I'm agnostic, but the first man makes more sense, of course. Of course, uh, you, you don't need to be that educated for you to know that this, uh, you know, makes a lot of sense. Of course, if you claim to be God, then you can't depend on, on something else. You have to be independent and you, and you can't do the same thing we as humans are doing, going to the toilet, sleeping uh, and not even knowing the last hour. So this literally shows that you are not God in any way, shape or form. So alhamdulillah, we've come to the end of today's reaction. Do not forget to subscribe if you are yet to subscribe and also hit the notification bell. So whenever I make a video, you would be amongst the first to get the video. So I say, assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.